So all the political parties agree that uh, school funding is currently unfair. It's been the way it is for many years and it, it's not fair, there's no, sensible, there's no sensible basis for it. Students with the same need, so by same need, um, you're looking at if they're from disadvantaged backgrounds or if their prior attainment is low, uh, get different amounts of money in different parts of the country. Um, so within South Yorkshire, if you're in Rotherham, you get more per child than, than if you're in Barnsley. How's that impacting as well? Penistone is the most poorly funded school in, in, in Barnsley, so it gets less uh, per pupil than, than the other secondary schools in Barnsley do. If you have less money, you have less teachers. Uh, so we have fewer teachers than elsewhere in the borough. Um, we have fewer teaching assistants. Um, and so basically, kids get less, or students get less exposure to teachers. And so with fewer teachers, you're bound to be held back. And that's what we're trying to, uh, that's what we're trying to address. The Education Secretary, Justin Greening, uh, she said that a school in certain parts of Hackney in London could be getting double the amount of funding that, that a school in Barnsley could do. And that's basically unfair and that's what we're trying to equalise as, as quickly as possible. I, I think money should be redistributed. Uh, a lot of people say you have to look at how much money there is in education to start with and education needs, mo need, needs more money before you start to redist redistribute. People in that Barsley, for example, or many, many of us think that you have to tackle that distribution problem as quickly as you can. Uh, on, on, so the, although it might be difficult for schools in, say, London to give up some money, it's no more difficult than the problem we have, we, we have currently. So uh, the government are proposing to equalise over somewhere between probably five and ten years currently. We are saying that should happen within two or three years. Current proposals reduce that funding gap from, uh, well, it effectively halve, they halve the gap over the next three years and they don't plan to eliminate it over a longer time scale. And we are saying that's not, that's not really fair and it should be done much faster and we should be, we should be achieving equality within the next two or three years.